Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joseph and in today's video, we're going to be color grading this beauty image right inside of Photoshop. And we're also going to be using the actions that are going to be created by my color grading actions found in my workflow retouching actions. All right, so if you don't have it, just go down into the description box. You'd see a link in there that says workflow actions. Click on it, it's going to take you to my website and then you can cop the action. All right. Starting off, I'm going to open the Photoshop individual actions group and in there you see that we have a color grade action. So before I click on that, I just want to run through everything. So if you missed the video before this, it was my Dodge and Ben um, video. So this is just about color grading, but the video before that was about Dodge and Ben. So I showed you how I was able to move the image from this to this just by using my actions. Now we're going to be using the color grading and probably just finalizing the look and feel of the image. So if there's anything else that I need to run, we'll figure it out and see what I can do um, using my actions. All right, so for the color grading, what I'm going to do is just make sure it's active and press play. Maybe you're not familiar with the way the actions look in this instance. So what you want to do is probably just click on and then go to button mode. In button mode, it's going to show you all of the um, actions in this mode where when you click on it, it's just going to apply straight away. But for me, it doesn't really have like an order. So I just like to keep it in this um, the on button mode <laughs> and this shows me like everything in order and I like it this way So you have these options if you want to select any of them it's available to you So what I want to do now is just um, Open the color grade group and you see that we have four different um, layers in there The first one is the color lookup. So this is where I normally just apply my LUT If you don't have my LUTs, my melanin skin tone LUTs, again, you can just go onto my digital store is available for you to download if you don't want to buy the ones that are for sale i have some samples in there that you can also just download for free and then use it on your images if you don't have that and you just want the free action the free action is also on my website you can click on it and actually let me just show you how the free action would interact with this image so selecting the dodge and bend go to the melanin action and open it select melanin and press play and you'd see that it's just going to create everything I need. And you can see that it's added this very cool, flattering look to the image. But this video is not about using the action. It's about using the color grading folder. So I'll just delete that and then now open the color grading uh, group and we can start with a color lookup table. So in here, I'm just going to double click on the icon and I'm going to load in a lot. I have my Fairy, Flozilla, Flamey, Fire Gold, Fairly Muted and Fade Punch in here. Let me start off with Fairly Muted and this is how it looks. It's really darkened the image. I like it. Let's look at Flozilla. I think I like the way Flozilla looks. So what I'll do on top of that is just create another curves because it's darkened down the image. I just want to brighten that up. So I'm just going to bring this up a little bit and also open up the shadows right about so. All right. What I also want to do now is just reduce the highlights. So I'm just going to drag this back and it's just going to reduce the effects in the highlight areas. Okay. So here's a before. And here's an after you can see that we've been able to take out the melanin and make it pop but at the same time too we've just opened the exposure just a little bit all right if you feel this is also too strong you can again just reduce opacity and that is just going to reduce how bright um, this particular effect is all right so moving on what I want to do now is just target the blues I want to desaturate the blues all right so what I'll do now is just come into my hue saturation which i have over here all right i'm just gonna click on that and i'm gonna target the blues and i'm just gonna pull the saturation down as i do that you can see that it's desaturating or removing the blues from the backdrop and that is what i want i don't want to have any blues in the shadows at this point so here's a before and here is after you can see that now the image is beginning to look really really good i'll come down into the color balance and double click on that and now we have mid-tones that we can start from so we're going to target the mid-tones the highlights and the shadows starting off with the mid-tones i just want to you know just add a tiny bit of red so let's say plus one and i'll come down into yellows and then just move that towards 
blue just a little bit so let's say plus one and the magenta i think i'll just move it towards green a little bit so plus one i'll go down into shadows and i'll also just you know just plus one blue inside the shadow and let's say minus two that's going to add cyan into the shadows and we can just add plus one green all right so so far here's a before and after so after before after it's really really subtle we'll go into the highlights now and i think i just want to warm it up a little bit so i'm just going to go and add some yellow and actually even add just a tiny bit of red i'll go into the magentas and just add a tiny bit of magenta here as well all right so before and after i'm going to come back into my hue saturation and over here i'm going to target the reds and just move it around and see what i can do to the reds so i'm just going to move it towards the left and i'll just desaturate it a tiny bit and then also just darken it down a little bit i'll go into the yellows and just play with that as well okay, I'm gonna desaturate it I'll go back into the reds and actually just bring it down minus one all right so that's it for the hue saturation as you can see here's a little before and after what it primarily did was just to take out the blues and the shadows right I'll go into selective color now and again, we can target the reds. So I'll just target the reds just like that. And go into magenta. And then go into yellows. I think I just want to warm it up a little bit. And I'll come down into yellows. And again, just try and play with the sliders. All right. I'll go into magenta. I think I just want to up the magenta a tiny bit. Go into the yellows. And I think I just want to have it like that. I'll go down into the blacks. And I think I'll just open it up a little bit and go back into the reds. And then also open that up just a little bit like that. Now we're going to move from here and come down into the neutrals. And then we can play with the colors even more. So plus one, go into magenta, also plus one, come down to yellows, and let's say plus two, and we can play with the black levels of that. I think just upping it just makes it really, really nice. All right, I'll come down into blacks now and I just want to see if I can add just a little bit of color into the black. So minus one on the cyan. And I just want to add a bit of green. And then over here with the yellows and the blues, I think I'll just keep it somewhere here. Let's say minus one and also just, you know, darken it a little bit. Let's say plus one so here's a before and after you can see we've been able to color grade the image really really nicely all right so what i'll do next is just go through my individual action set again and see if there's anything else i can add so over here what i'll do is i'll just click on shadow reduction and press play just because i want to lift the shadows a tiny bit so you can see it's open up the shadows but that's really strong so i'll just bring down my opacity just to about 30 percent so here's a before and after actually even just reduce it some more so maybe 15 percent before after i think i really like the way it looks let's play with the relighting and see what we can do so press play and drag it out of that group and here's a before after i think i like the way it looks i just want to tone down the brighten layer so just bring that down a little bit 
All right, so that is it for the video. So just a quick recap and show you everything that we did today. So this is where we started off after we did our frequency separation, right? And then this is also when we added our dodge and bend. So like I said, this is a previous video for the dodge and bend. If you haven't seen it, you can click on it now to go and watch it. Then I created a color grading group where we're able to move the colors to about this point. And then I added my shadow reduction just to open up the shadows a tiny bit. And then I added my relighting just to bring focus back onto the subject. So I think I really like where this image is. Maybe what I want to do as a final check is just go back into hue saturation and just target an area like this. It says it's red, but I have a feeling there are some blues in there again. So I'm just going to go into blues and then desaturate the blues. And then I'll come down into magenta and I'll also just desaturate the magentas just a little bit like that. So before and after, right? Now I'll just go down into yellows and just reduce the yellows a little bit. And then I'll come down into reds and then desaturate the reds as well, just a tiny, tiny bit. All right, so before and after i think i like the way the image is looking now and uh yeah that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below leave a like as it shows me that you guys are enjoying videos like this i'll catch you guys in the next one and remember don't ever give up